Hello everyone, welcome to my channel again. Today we will sketch and render some objects, combination of two materials, wood and some metal details. We will try to create some bathroom object. Maybe it will be yeah, it will be the soap container, soap bottle, the base that I'm drawing now will be kind of wooden bamboo uh, shape. So as you can see I'm using two points perspective to create the base and I'm using ellipses to create this cylinder on top and one more detail on top that actually that part that you press. I'm using the neutral blue pencil, not black, not brown. The blue one, actually you can use any color, I like to use the blue one, it's my preference. Okay, so we have a general shape, now let's start to make it more clear lines. Here I'm using the Copic marker, the thin part of the, of the marker. To adjust those lines I'm using the color, sorry, the cool, cool tone of uh, the Copic marker. Something about uh, number four, gray tone just to put the initial shapes and shading like this to give some and present, present it the presentation of the metal yeah and now let's start with the, with the wood by using Another market, actually, it's Touch Me brand. Yeah, sounds sexy. Touch Me brand. Yeah, so the, this brand they have uh, uh, the colors of those brand more, uh, more juicy, I would say. Uh, the Copic, they are more dry but instead of more professional ones but I like to mix and match different brands and see uh, what kind of results I will get so I'm always experimenting with my materials, with my tools uh, it's up to you what kind of tools to use so here I'm working on, on the shading of uh, my future wooden part of the bottle something like this uh, by the way I apologize for uh, maybe about uh, the focus of my camera I just recognized it it is about a little bit out of the focus okay now let's continue with metal part make it kind of chrome, stainless steel, uh, finishing of the metal. So when we are doing the, the chrome uh, finish, it's always very uh, sharp and contrast combination between light, shadow and the reflections. So this is what I'm doing now. I'm creating this combination of 
different contrasts. Like this. Okay. To create more expressive some movement. I always like to to create those lines a little bit longer than the object. This gives to my sketch kind of uh, expression and the movement of the particular parts. With darker marker, I can create the texture, the texture of the wood like this and at the same time to do the the contour contour and the shadows underneath of the object I want that my object will pop up from the paper from the white white page okay by the way uh, for those renders, uh, this moment I'm using the Copic uh, paper, A3 paper. Uh, it's quite good for blending, mixing the markers. But actually, I don't care about what kind of material, what kind of paper to use. It's all about your passion. If you like to do the sketch, if you like to sketch, to draw, you can do this on any material, any paper, with any tool in your hand. So this is what we have today. Enjoy. One more touch. Make it even more contrast. Like this, here, a little bit of reflection on the floor, always uh, make sketch more sexy and more juicy, like this. So I hope you enjoyed my daily sketch today, see you around, bye bye.